Hi, I'm Jen from the Jersey Beauty Company and I'm here with the lovely Victoria to talk all about adult breakouts. So Victoria, lots of us have left our teenage years behind and we think that's it for breakouts and then we get into our 20s, 30s and beyond and we're still suffering with adult breakouts. It's just not good now. <laughs> so Victoria, we're going to talk all about this Age Bright Clearing Serum. So it's a two-in-one serum that tackles adult breakouts and also reduces visible signs of ageing. So our skin is left looking clearer and brighter. I mean, that sounds amazing to me. So it's interesting because adult women are five times more likely to get uh, breakouts in adulthood than men. And I think we know probably the, the main reason why mm -hmm. is those female reproductive hormones. So once we've been through the puberty shift, which can tend to obviously break out our skin, we then have monthly hormonal cycles, we may um, have birth control hormonal medication, then we have pregnancy, we even have menopause. And all of these uh, female hormonal fluctuations can drive breakouts and spots within the skin. And then the other big hormonal influence on adult breakouts is stress. So that's also hormonal related. Um, and that's probably one of the biggest causal factors of, of adults who start to break out in, in adulthood, particularly yeah. if they've not had um, teenage acne yeah. as, as an example. So you mentioned hormonal causes. What are the other factors that can give us adult breakouts? Yeah, so hormones aside, um, you may have a genetic predisposition. So we mentioned that, you know, you may well have had teenage acne and breakouts. So you'll probably suffer with that up and down throughout adulthood. So it might just be that genetically you're prone and you're always going to have to manage that. Um, but if not, it will also be, there's so many other reasons. So um, just general skincare, not using mm. the correct skincare, um, over stripping the skin, um, sensitizing the skin can actually cause breakouts and inflammation. Um, comedogenic or skin clogging makeup um, and not removing that thoroughly. Um, even friction, so if you're a bit of a gym bunny, you might find that kind of sweat and friction from, from working out can cause breakouts. Um, and then even things like our climate, so different times of the year can cause our skin to be uh, imbalanced and upset. Mm. Um, UV exposure, pollution is another big one. So if you do live in quite a polluted area, that may well be con causing congestion and yeah. breakouts on your skin. Um, and then even things like picking and squeezing, um, that can exacerbate yeah. the infection and, and the scarring on the skin. And even diet. So there is more research these days that show things like high glycemic index foods. So in mm -hmm. other words, junk foods, high sugary foods really drive oil and skin cell production in the skin. Yeah. And dairy can be quite inflammatory for some as well. So, um, you know, you are what you eat. So obviously the cleaner and healthier your, your diet, it definitely impacts the skin as well. And at the skin level, what's happening when we have an adult breakout? For adults with breakouts, compared to teens, um, our skin tends to be less oily. Mm -hmm. So when we are going through our teens and into our early 20s, where we have puberty hormones, growth hormones, really driving a lot of oil production, obviously that tails off in our mid-20s. So we tend to be a little bit more drier or more dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So then we need to tackle the breakouts differently than, than on younger skin. And inflammation is probably the, the key issue with adult breakouts. So the spots tend to be inflamed, the redness and kind of angriness tends to hang around a lot longer. Two reasons. Um, our skin regeneration slows down as mm -hmm. we age, so we're less able to um, deal with infection as quickly. If we have high stress levels, that's also impacting our skin's ability to heal. It can actually impact wound healing by about 40% when we're stressed. Um, so that prolonged inflammation is what really drives the kind of prolonged aging symptoms as well. You're getting a lot of dermal destruction when your skin is um, infected and inflamed for a long pe period of time. And the other key uh, result of that is the pigmentation marks that are mm. left behind because that wound healing process and that yeah. inflammation is really driving the skin pigment. So when the breakout heals, we're then left with either a kind of reddish purple or brownie colour mark, depending on your natural skin colour, which almost looks like the spots are still there yeah. and contributes to an overall kind of aged appearance on the skin. So the Age Bright Complex is brilliant for helping 
um, during breakouts and after breakouts, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So we have an age bright complex of ingredients in both of these two new formulas mm -hmm. that tackles the microbiome to help clear the skin um, of bad bacteria and also um, the niacinamide and other extracts which really help to minimize the excess pigment yeah. and even out that skin. So it's all about clearing the skin, healing it faster and minimizing the uneven skin tone and pigmentation yeah. marks. So what benefits can we see, Victoria, from using the Age Bright Clearing Serum? So the Age Bright Clearing Serum is really designed to clear the breakouts mm -hmm. and brighten the skin tone. So perfect if you have um, kind of larger areas of yeah. breakouts on the skin, clear them faster, resurface the skin, um, help with the skin texture, tone and clarity, and um, even out the, the pigmentation issues. Yeah. And when, when should we use it? The Age Bright Clearing Serum you would use on clean skin, yeah. morning and evening, underneath your moisturiser. Age Bright Clearing Serum is now available to buy at the Jersey Beauty Company, so pop onto our website and have a look for yourself.